Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 181. Welcome. Well, I have a couple of finished objects to show you, and a couple of things I'm working on, and a few other things, so let's get started. <laughs> okay, so for my finished objects, looking down here at my notes, well, I'm glad, that's why I'm glancing down. <laughs> uh, for my finished objects, I have... Uh, finished the baby educational ball now this was a series that I was working on um, and I did a tutorial whole tutorial series for it I need to link all of those together and make a playlist if I get that done I will link that below in the description box okay this is a pattern by Patricia Heller she did give, give me permission to make this tutorial and so thank you so much P P Patricia for allowing me to do this I had a great time on this project and so I want to show you my ball now that it's finished it's over here on the desk there it is <laughs> so it turned out pretty big and I used DK yarn uh, in a three millimeter hook so I was trying to get it sized down but I think it turned out really cute so see here's the first one I made there's the bunny and of course I don't remember the order so I'm not gonna try <laughs> but that's the bunny and then of course let's see we got a fox right there and there's a Sun right here <laughs> and a strawberry and this uh, here's a snail look uh, let me open it here I put velcro on it there see oh it's upside down <laughs> hello <laughs> okay and then I have a uh, ladybug right there on top of a flower and it's got a velcro um, strip to it uh, let's see there's my octopus right there <laughs> and a flower right there and I have a bear right there <laughs> and a bee and what else did I let's see I showed you the snail oh there's a sheep right there and oh there's some there's a carrot right here behind some lettuce leaves so I think that turned out really cute <laughs> and I think that's all of them <laughs> anyway I think this is so cute I really enjoy it and I enjoyed putting it together and I think it turned out really cute <laughs> okay so that's finished object number one okay so finished object number two is the friendly elephant I got finished it I got finished with him so I'm happy about that uh, this is a pattern by the friendly red fox and I will of course link all the patterns I talk about I'll link links I'll link links <laughs> drop links to them <laughs> down below in the description box okay so here is my friendly elephant <laughs> I think he turned out really cute he even has a tail see right there and I love this little sprig of little tuft of hair up there at the top. I think that turned out so cute. <laughs> um, I had a little trouble with securing the head down. Uh, I see he's still kind of floppy, but not too bad. Uh, I really put lots of extra stitches in there to try to get that head uh, secured down. But um, I think it turned out really cute. Uh, like I said before, I did put a uh, pipe cleaner. In fact, I, I put I took three pipe cleaners, twisted them together, uh, folded them in half, and then twisted them. So it was like equivalent of six pipe cleaners, I guess, but half sized. Uh, and I inserted that into the trunk to try to get the trunk to um, raise up. See, because the in the pattern or at least some of the views of the pattern the trunk was like going down straight and I didn't I didn't like that as well as uh, having the elephant having his trunk up so that's what I did to uh, help with that problem not problem but you know to make it more uh, to make it stand up anyway um, anyway I think he's so cute his ears are so cute uh, it's very interesting the construction of the ears I had never done that before but I think it turned out really cute and it's kind of a neat idea I like that anyway and uh, the uh, the legs and the body is one piece well you do one leg the other leg join them together and then that's one piece so you just had to um, do the arms and then the head the trunk and the head is one piece uh, you had to do the ears separate sew them on and the tail anyway I think he's cute see it did white underneath the bottom of the feet 
Anyway, this is going to be a uh, gift. So now that I've showed this and I've got him all finished, uh, I need to run to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a great source for gift bags. <laughs> so I need to run to Dollar Tree sometime before the end of this week weekend whatever and get a bag for this so then I can put it in put him in there and uh, give him give the gift to the recipient so anyway there you go <laughs> I think he turned out really cute in a nice size he's like uh, let me measure him here um, about 13 inches tall something like that now he's not going to sit you know uh, or anything and he doesn't stand by him, himself uh, but I think he's cute. <laughs> okay, so there is finished object number two, and that's my finished objects. <laughs> okay, so for works in progress, I just have two that I can show you. Oh, I do have another finished object. I'm doing an ornament swap that Ella of No Catchy Name over on her Facebook group, she's hosting, or she hosted, host, she is hostessing, <laughs> and, um, so uh, we have to do an ornament and then a Christmas card and then if we want to put extras in the package we can but anyway we were paired up with someone someone and so I had to make an ornament and I did make the ornament I'm not gonna show you because I want it to be a surprise but I did take a picture of it and so after she receives it then I'll show you later um, the ornament the picture of it okay but it was such a cute pattern and I highly recommend it that's all I can say about it right now <laughs> but anyway so I did finish that and then um, so that's it as far as finished objects okay let's go into works in progress okay so I'm still working on King Moon Racer which is the um, crochet kit this uh, Rudolph kit it is the lion with the wings right here okay now, I'm, I have him put together except for, uh, I, I thought I had all the parts made, but I forgot that he has a crown, and I haven't made his crown yet, so I need to do that. But his, the body, I have put together, except I don't have his tail connected. But here he is so far. Uh, he has a little cock to his head, or a little, <laughs> uh, and... I think it's kind of cute. I didn't mean for it to be this. It's supposed to be level, but I think it's kind of cute, kind of cocked to the side there. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think he turned out really cute, or he's turning out cute. He's not finished. Uh, I do need to stitch on some little toenail, uh, toe, toe, the lines like I did the feet. I need to do that for the back feet. Haven't done that. Uh, but I do have his back feet uh, connected together. I mean, you know, sewed on. And his head sewed on. <laughs> um, I do have, let's see, I have his tail, but I need to put some little um, little hair off the end of it, and I haven't done that yet. And I, of course, I do have his wings also. Okay, um, but I was gonna sew the wings on, but I think I'm, I'm going to wait. So it'll be like this, one on either side. But I, I'm gonna wait until I cut the I have to cut the strands for his mane. Okay. Um, and yeah, the main and you know all goes, goes all around here, <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna do that first, and then I will sew the wings on. I think I'm gonna do that, and then so I haven't done that. I need to cut the strands for that for the main and for the end of his tail, but he's coming along, and so he definitely will be finished by next week. Okay, so he will be finished a finished object, <laughs> and then I have one character left to make. Uh, this is kind of upcoming, but I'll go ahead. <laughs> and uh, I have the Charlie in the box right here. Okay. I haven't made him yet, so I still need to make him. I did have a uh, sweet viewer, Carrie. She is also over on my Facebook group, and she has made the whole entire set. She was ahead of me each month, but, she, but we were kind of doing it together. And... Um, she told me she sent me a message and said she would send me the some of the, some of the beads that she used for uh, there's little beads on the on the round on his collar and those are the beads I've been talking about that I didn't have and so she sent me a message and she was sweet enough to say that she was going to send me some some of the beads so then I would have enough to make his collar so um, I haven't got them yet but uh, anyway, I will be starting him. I'm hoping. I, I need to go ahead and get him started. So, um, now that he is almost finished, I should get Charlie started soon. Okay. Um, and then another works in progress is the elephant baby blanket. Now, 
of course it has bobbins connected to it so I can't sh I, I'm gonna just take a picture I took a picture of it and I'm gonna show you the progress on it okay so here is the picture of that and the progress that I've made on that blanket Okay, so that is my progress. I'm coming along on it. I really need to speed up on it, though, because uh, if you watch my Whip Wall Wednesday episode yesterday, I spoke about it a little bit and the vlog in the Vlogmas video. But my neighbors across the street who the, babe, the blanket is going to, uh, now I'll pop in a picture here of what the blanket's going to look like so then you can kind of get an idea, okay? So here's that. Here's the picture of the finished, kind of the finished object, but I'm using different colors. Okay, so my neighbors across the street are the ones that are going to get the blanket and I saw her the other day and, and I asked her how she was doing and she said that she's due January the 1st but they're thinking that she's not going to go that long or going to go that far because she's already having some false labor and different things and so they're thinking that she could be like any day. And so I went ahead and told her that I was making a blanket. She had no idea. I haven't, even, it's, I haven't even really talked to her that much. So she has no idea that I was making anything for her. Um, I've talked to her husband a couple of times, just, you know, from across the street when we happen to be out on the driveway at the same time. But anyway, um, so I, I wanted to let her know, though, that I said that I was making a blanket for the baby, but it's not, it's not done yet. <laughs> And so she was very surprised, I think, and she said, you know, she just said, oh, that's so sweet of you. And so I'm really going to try to step up my my progress on that because as you saw in the progress pic picture, I have only got, I think, well, you couldn't see what row I was on, but I think I'm about halfway as far as the rows go. And so... Uh, now that I'm past that part that's got the toenails and the feet, I think maybe it, it'll go faster, I'm hoping. Um, anyway, and then, of course, I'll have to do the outside part. So I'm, I'm really needing to hurry up on that. <laughs> so that's all my works in progress that I've done because of working on that, getting more done on that blanket and just everything else. So... <laughs> um, so let's go on to upcoming, which I've already talked a little bit about the upcoming. Upcoming is the Charlie in the box, this. Oh, and I will link it in the description box below where you can get this off of Amazon or Amazon affiliate. So if you click through that link, even if you don't purchase this, if you click through that link and go on to your Amazon shopping of whatever you're going to get, then um, I'll get a little bit from it. No, no change in cost to you, though, but I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, so like I said, Charlie in the box is, needs to be born <laughs> soon. <laughs> and then, um, oh, and then the happy scrappy yarn challenge. This has been going on all, all year long, month by month. And it's hosted by Teresa of T dot, not Teresa. Oh my goodness. Where did I get Teresa? I don't know. <laughs> Christy of T doddles. There you go. And Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy, and I will link their channels below in the description box. Okay, well, their host, they, they kind of alternated back and forth between who hosted it. They would put a challenge out to make a, just a small project that had a theme to it for each month uh, that you use yarn scraps with to create. And so uh, this month, Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy put forth the challenge, and so I will link that video that particular video d below in the description box it's part of her vlogmas video i think day two i think it came out yesterday i guess but anyway i will put that below but anyway the theme is snowman and so i've already found a pattern i want to make it's a it's an ornament christmas ornament but it's so so cute oh it's so cute and so uh i'm gonna i'll make it and then i'll show it okay <laughs> but anyway um that is for this month happy scrappy yarn challenge okay and then number my next or also upcoming or ongoing is i'm doing vlogmas this year and so um i will link um well I guess I will link today's Vlogmas because I just did it but it hasn't been posted yet. 
Uh, I'll put that in the description box below because that will probably post before this one. Uh, but anyway, uh, I would appreciate if you check out my Vlogmas videos. I, I, I'm having a wonderful time doing it. Uh, I'm doing a yarn uh, scrap ball uh, scrap ball swap with Kayla of Llama Mama Kayla and so each day unwrapping that and putting it in a project uh, and then I show you the progress the next day of what it's looking like you know what it looks like with the new color I'm doing a scrappy rectangle granny uh, blanket so um, check out my vlogmas videos I'm having a wonderful time doing it okay and then Whip Wall Wednesday. Yes, yesterday I did my latest episode of Whip Wall Wednesday, which is episode 18. And I'm getting a lot of progress done on that project, and I think it's turning out super cute. So um, check that out. I'll link it below. And um, oh, okay. So at the beginning of this year, <laughs> who knew that this year was going to be like this year has been? But at the beginning of this year, as the beginning of previous years, I did a a um, goals video for the for the year. Uh, this would be it would be like the 2020 goals video. Well, now that it's coming to the end of the year, now I didn't do a June. I should have done one in June, showing kind of my how I'm doing on my goals, but I didn't do it. I, it just kind of came in June, came and went, and I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, so the end of this month, I will do a review of the goals that I had set for this year to see how I did on them. And so I'm already thinking about my 2021 goals, and I think I'm going to do it really different. Um, I'll have maybe one or two goals that are the same, you know, repeating like I've had previously. But uh, before, I always had I had it very structured or um, I had like a goal for each different types of categories goals I wanted to do but I'm I just really want to simplify things I really do and so um, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do it you just saw the the door open that was Teddy <laughs> peeking in he left again but he was peeking in to see what I was doing I guess who I was talking to <laughs> anyway I really want to simplify this next year's goals and so I'm really thinking really hard on it to see how I want to do it so stay tuned for that of course that the 2021 goals will be January 1st um, but I think it's gonna be different so uh, we have to wait and see and see <laughs> um, come here come here you want to see Teddy you haven't seen him in a long time come here Look, there's my baby. Say hello. <laughs> he don't like me when I pick him up. He puts his ears back like that. Usually his ears are straight up like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is show you some Christmas cards that I have received, or some cards that I received, okay? So I will start off with, um, I got a birthday card. Let me shut that door just a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I received a birthday card, and this is from a viewer, sweet viewer by the name of Georgia. Hello, Georgia. And uh, so anyway, she she lives in Pennsylvania, and um, she's very sweet. She always sends me little no messages about my how she likes different uh, my uh, projects and things. And she was so sweet, and she sent me a birthday card. I thought that was so sweet. I love that little card. And then she she put a sweet little note inside, just talking about how she enjoyed my channel and. Um, the work I put into it and stuff and so anyway she sent me this birthday card and a packet of tea that I haven't tried yet but I plan on doing it, it uh, trying it out it is uh, French vanilla flavor and it's Bigelow by Bigelow and it's decaf um, black tea so I'm looking forward to trying using that <laughs> drinking that <laughs> okay so thank you so much Georgia for the birthday card that was very sweet of you 
Okay, and then I also received, if you remember, I got a package from Tammy, another viewer, and she had in the envelope, she in the package, she sent me some yarn for the Charlie in the box, but then also, she there was two cards in there. One of them was a birthday card, and I believe I opened that last week. I think I did. Yeah. And then the other one was don't open till after the 26th. Yeah, which was after Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving, but it was it was like after my la last week's episode that I, when I filmed it, so I want to show it to you now. But it's a Thanksgiving card. It's Blessings of Thanksgiving, okay? And um, it says, Celebrating all of God's most wonderful gifts and wishing you a blessed Thanksgiving. So thank you so much, Tammy. That's very sweet. And then I also received, now this I received late, and I'm not quite sure why, because I have, I, I know that I saw a picture of it in the informed delivery in the from the post office online. So I knew it was there. I mean, it said it was there. But when I had checked the post office, it wasn't there. It wasn't in my box, and I don't know why. But then a week or so after that, I guess it was, I had to go again and pick up, I went by to pick up, um, what was in the box and so then it was there and it, so it was a Thanksgiving card and this is from uh, our sweet Carrie Penny who's who is so talented making um, cards and she sent me this Thanksgiving hand, handmade Thanksgiving card okay very pretty it's got a little notch in it right here which was in the envelope <laughs> I mean you know it was on the envelope too let me do it this way see that and so I don't know if it got stuck on something and that's why it it um, didn't make it in my make it into my box until a little bit later I'm not sure but I am so glad that I I did get it <laughs> um, very happy about that it says wishing you blessings this season and then you open it up and it just says happy Thanksgiving and then she signed it Carrie Penny so thank you so much, Carrie. You, you're so sweet putting all the work you do into these handmade cards and sending them out. You, you make so many of them, and they're, they're, just, they're just wonderful, and I really appreciate that I am on your card list. <laughs> okay, so I received that one, and that's a Thanksgiving. I'm looking here. Okay, now I did receive this one. This was a Christmas card. I think I showed this last week, but if I didn't, I just... I didn't want to not show it, so if it's a repeat, it's a repeat, but I'm going to show it again just in case. Okay, so this one just says Mary. This is the, I think this is the first Christmas card I have gotten this season. Uh, it's Christmas time, time for fun. Here's hoping that yours is wonderful and special. And this is from Teresa, a.k.a. Teresa Love Me Some Yarn. I think, believe that's her channel. She does have a YouTube channel, but I don't think she has any content in it. I don't think. But anyway, thank you so much, Teresa, for the cute card. I really appreciate it. Um, and let's see. Oh, and then now that I'm doing Vlogmas, I'll go ahead and show you this. There was a card inside the box that Kayla sent me, and it is a Christmas card. And so she sent me this one. Such a cute snowman. Uh, May the joy that is Christmas, its warmth and good cheer, its moments so merry, its memories so dear, remain in your heart through a happy new year. Love, Kayla. So thank you, Kayla, for your beautiful Christmas card. Okay, and I think that's it as far as the happy mail that I've received. Um, I believe I saw that I, I checked my um, informed delivery online, and I think there's another card in there. So I'll have to run, run over there and pick that one up. So anyway, I think that is it for today. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I just want to say welcome to my new subscribers. I so appreciate you subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. I hope that you're enjoying them. And thank you so much for those that have been with me from the beginning. Uh, I really appreciate you all. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and checking out my videos and all the different variety of projects, crochet projects that I do and tutorials that I'm making. Um, so... Uh, welcome <laughs> and thank you uh, and also if you're on Facebook I was gonna say if you're on Facebook go over and join my Facebook group your enjoy podcast and uh, join that and uh, share pictures of the things that you're working on so then we can all share and see see your talents and see what kind of projects you're working on as well okay so I think that's it now 
<laughs> so thanks so much for watching guys I'll be back tomorrow for vlogmas day four so if you care to follow along there I'll be here every day this month or at least to the 25th I may just go on t to November the 1st I mean November oh, <laughs> January the 1st I don't know but I know I'm gonna be doing it through the 25th so um, follow me along uh, doing that so anyway Everybody have a great weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.